Hey, what's up? I've seen countless videos on this platform showing what's in your camera bag, but I haven't seen one geared towards assistant cameras before. So today I'm going to show you what's in my assistant camera toolkit. Let's start with the bag. It's a cine bag. These bags are huge and with a bunch of pouches and zippers made for filmmakers specifically. These are bags are kind of expensive, but they're durable. This is not my first bag. I've had a lot of bags in the past. Like for example, you can just buy soft toolbox from a hardware store and that works as a good camera bag or like a very big backpack could also work as a good camera bag. Once you use it a lot or it's filled up and needs more space, more organization, then you can consider into investing into a bigger camera bag. I got to that point in my career, so I decided to buy one. Of course, used because new ones are really expensive so i got one for like half price used in the market starting with the center of my bag i have what i think is the most important piece of the whole kit which is my chest harness this is a must because in this i carry all the tools that i really really need most of the time having here my flashlight if you're an assistant camera and you show up to set with your phone's flashlight i will make fun of you if you're on that set because that is unacceptable frankly a phone doesn't light up nearly as enough as a good flashlight so consider investing in a good flashlight very early in your filmmaking career on the other side i have a trusty utility knife this one is swiss army and it's not really the most complete out of all the utility knives I've seen out there but this one was free I got it when I was starting my career and the knife is very sharp very good it has a flathead screwdriver which is great for especially with, for camera and it has a very sharp knife on the other end and that's what mostly you're gonna need it for sometimes you need it for pliers but I have pliers separately for that reason the next thing on here is my laser tape measure this is not really a lifesaver this is more a want than a need but this is uh, comes good in a pinch when you're trying to measure like camera height camera distance or something never point this at people that's bad manners but this is a good way to measure stuff without having to pull a tape measure the old school way never point a laser straight into the camera because you're going to ruin the sensor not all lasers ruin all sensors but some do and you don't want to find out which nevertheless even though i have a laser tape measure on one side i do have a standard tape measure on the other it's not that long this one is only i think 16 feet long this is again for in a pinch if my laser is out of battery this is backup or like somebody else needs it for something i have one on my kit inside the pouch i have an assortment of pens and markers and all kinds of stuff these are good because none of these are the same it's good to have a variety because sometimes you need a gel pen sometimes you need a ballpoint pen sometimes you need a crayon sometimes you need a sharpie very thick sharpie marker so i have all of them one of each for every occasion and then deep inside i have my allen key set these are gorilla grip i highly recommend this brand it's pretty good so it has lasted me years of my filmmaking career it, it looks kind of flimsy but it's actually pretty strong and comes highly rated on amazon and lastly but not least the most important part of my chest hardness is my stubby flathead screwdriver this is by far my favorite tool because it, it is the paramount used into tightening stuff on camera all the flatheads that you need is going to be tightened with this don't come up with a quarter because you don't have enough torque to really get those tripod plates in place unless you have a stubby flathead screwdriver like this very cheap this is not exactly a camera screwdriver but this gets the job done and has always gotten the job done for me i also keep a hat in my bag because some days are sunny some days are cloudy it might be cloudy when you get there but then it gets sunny so having a hat so you could see stuff better always a good thing i have a tape slip these i used to have more tapes than this hanging but these are the most commonly used red blue and white are the most important colors this i use for labeling this for main actor and this for secondary actor these could also be used to label the slate or label stuff on camera for example i use the red one to label the mags on a cam and i use the blue one to label the mags on b cam i have a rocket blower another crucial part of your equipment when you have to blow up dust from like infernal lenses from tiny fans or like stuff that has dust stuck in it sometimes the sensor i went through a bunch of cheap ones before i decided to buy a good one this is a giotos it's made in italy apparently has been with me for a while now and hasn't the tip hasn't come off this hasn't broken off the rubber is pretty good quality so if i had to recommend get a high quality rocket blower if you notice i label all my stuff with this blue tape because people get happy on set and oh that's my thing and then they take it if it's got blue in it that's not yours that's mine next i have these i shouldn't have them out like that but 
lens cleaner and kim tech wipes these are lint free wipes necessary to clean lenses or delicate stuff and this is zeiss lens cleaner what they use in the industry is not exactly this it's called pancro but pancro is 10 times more expensive than this and this gets the job just as well done maybe a little less well done than pancro because pancro is pancro but in my experience has been good enough next on my bag if i am first ac that day i bring my whole follow focus kit this right here is a tilted nucleus with a handle on the side a little thing on top here to mount a monitor this is what i use to pull focus when i'm first assistant camera i able to make it comfortable and a thing here to mount a monitor so i can do it all wirelessly here are some more accessories from the tilted nucleus this is the motor and these are some rings for the for the nucleus itself this is the motor that you mount in a lens so then you wirelessly turn this around to pull focus and some spare batteries in front of my bag i have not one but two pairs of gloves now you ask yourself why do you have two pairs of gloves let's start with the ugly ones these leather gloves are for lighting you don't want to grab a light with gardening gloves because gardening gloves are made of rubber and they're going to melt the light then blow up the the bulb and then they're going to ask who did that and you're going to have to say me so these are leather gloves meant to hold hot stuff or stuff you don't want your hands to touch basically see how they're all dirty and mucked up i've used these to hold lights to hold grip and stuff you shouldn't use it to hold grip and stuff but to hold lights because these are not gonna burn your hand ever firefighters use this so a pair of leather gloves are not expensive and they're great to do the dirty work for you hot and dirty work and the other pair of gloves these are fingerless also leather padded gloves these are the ones i use for when i'm camera operating because i can have a better grip on the camera with these if i want to hold the top hand or hoard in peace these make my life easier and my fingers are out so i can mess with the touch screen touch little buttons screw on screw the little things great for camera operating highly recommend i have a few more tools here and stuff here's a spare handle it's the handle i will put on the 50 millimeter rods in the camera this is this is, has come useful in a few situations where the, uh, we need uh, an extra grip for handheld sometimes a grip that comes with the rental kit is not as good or is broken or whatever this comes in in a pinch little extra grip for camera always useful these are two tiny 15 millimeter rods these are also for accessories these are a standard diameter that they use on cameras there's two diameters this is 15 and there's 19 studio rods 50 millimeter rods are for smaller kinds of equipment 19 millimeter rods are for like already for the big camera setup then if you want to add something on top or like a little accessory on the bottom then these will be the thing next i have a friction arm or a noga arm these are to mount accessories to the main camera body usually this will mount another extra monitor for the for whoever's operating the camera but this i could use for example if i want to mount a wireless video on camera i have a little thing that i can screw on one end screw the wireless video on top and then adjust this however i see comfortable these i think are extremely useful it's good to have one or two in spare because these also break i've seen a few of them break on set so it's good to have one if it breaks not a big deal the better quality you get the more it's gonna last but these you know very good to come in a pinch here's a new acquisition i got thanks to my friend eric steady his instagram right here this is what they call a robo grip sometimes you need to really tighten a screw or really loosen a very tight screw and this thing will make sure that the job is easy. I used to use pliers, but pliers when you tighten, sometimes your hand is too open and you don't have enough leverage. But with this, you tighten as hard as you want. And this is gonna close and do all this, all the strength that your own hand was not able to. Robo grip, look at that. You can tighten a screw very tight if you don't want it to go loose or loosen something very, very hard. On the other side of the bag, I have a bunch of assorted stuff, but most importantly, I have a set of precision screwdrivers. It's a set of tiny, tiny screwdrivers for those little pesky things that you sometimes you have to remove. Sometimes those little screws come loose on the camera or on other equipment. It's good to have one in case that happens. You know, it's it's hard to tighten a tiny screw when you have only have a big screwdriver. So precision screwdrivers. Next, in this little pouch, I keep a set of uh, triple A batteries, four AAA batteries. These are common for a lot of accessories and for my light meter. So I keep them around and a pair of headphones earbuds right here it has there has been situations where you need to know if the sound is being recorded not in a, necessarily in a movie but if you're shooting more field recording and you don't have a pair of headphones or your headphones broke it's good to have a pair of earbuds in a pinch i just keep them around just in case or days over you need to listen to music to yourself you don't bring a speaker 
you got a pair of headphones. I have a bunch of other chargers and cables as well, assorted, you know, iPhone cables, micro USB, USB-C cables, because people need to charge stuff and set, and you need to charge stuff and set too. So I have my Tilta Nucleus charger and a few other things just to keep around, just in case. On the top left pocket, I have a tiny clamp. This is good again. When you're first AC and you need to clap something to a C stand, sometimes your monitor, sometimes your focus unit, this is good to clamp stuff and then use a little arm to put into these holes. Nice thing to have. I've, I've been say, or like if you need to clamp something to the camera as well, let's say the only place you can put it is not reachable. So you got to clamp to put it on the tripod, on the handle, anywhere. Good accessory to have. These are two cold shoe mounts. I recently was in the need of using one of these to mount a shotgun mic to a camera and I didn't have these. So I looked around my set and I found I had two that I could just directly screw onto the camera and shove the shotgun mic in here. Would have been good if I had it that day. So I just throw it in my camera bag now just to leave it there. And here is a belt clip for a V-mount battery. Let's say you're on the move, you gotta put your camera on you or like your focus unit and you only have a big ass V-mount battery that you have to bring around. This, you put in your belt, clamp the battery on it, you can bring it around with you. Let's say you're also bringing a bunch of batteries with you to a, a faraway location. You can put this on your belt, clamp a battery in there and bring it with you. You know, more space to bring stuff, so it's pretty good. I also keep a little strip of Velcro, hairy and spiky side, because this is extremely necessary when you have to put stuff on the camera or on set. Sometimes some accessories, the only way to stick them to the camera is using velcro i bring a tiny strip i don't bring my two huge velcros because these would just get lost so i bring a tiny you know strip this one is already uh, the strip was longer i've used it a bit already so i would bring let's say maybe like six inches or like a foot of both sides to set and when it's over you just add another foot from your big ass rolls and that is all in my camera bag now you may ask yourself luis do i really need all that stuff to work as an assistant camera on set and the answer is absolutely not what you really really need is just this to get all these, you'll be good to start on your day one. And that's it. Thank you for touring my camera bag with me today. Please send me your questions. I love answering them. I've helped a few of you already with some script questions, with some ideas that you throw at me. I reply to your comments, every comment. I reply to emails that I get, requests to work. So feel free to reach out to me. I am more than happy to help you out, figure out this crazy film industry and filmmaking world. Here's my Instagram account. It's Lumelatsini. Follow me. I post not that frequently, but I'm going to try to post more frequently about what I'm doing. I'm currently producing podcasts and we're guest cinematographer on the side. So follow me, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.